In today's show, we have a new update on the math lab hours, a stand-up about the girls' soccer meeting tonight, and another BuzzFeed quiz. I'm Sophie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Recently, the math lab hours have changed. We talked to a few math teachers to learn more. Siemens math lab hours recently changed to better accommodate teacher and student schedules. Math Lab is a service that the math department has provided which gives students an opportunity to come and ask questions directly to a math teacher or to have a quiet place to work or a safe place where they know that they'll have the ability to check answers and, and talk to someone about math if they have a struggle. Um, it's right here for free every morning and every afternoon, although we've changed our hours I guess, but it gives some uh, flexibility for the kids' schedule to figure out what works for them. If they're in sports, they can go in the morning. So it's Monday and Wednesday and Friday in the mornings. So we open up at 7 every morning. There's a couple teachers there until school starts, basically. Um, and then in the afternoons, Tuesdays and Thursdays for a full hour. Students that regularly attend Math Lab have various opinions on the effectiveness of the new hours. Um, the new schedule is not my favorite. Um, it's harder for me because I work after school and I also play soccer. So like after school is never an option for me. And when they have less like days available in the mornings, that like cuts down the time I can actually go and get help. We changed because the number of students that was attending regularly was, was not as high as it has been in the past. So we were finding that we had lots of time with uh, no students that were there. So we adjusted it to make it convenient for students still, but also convenient for the teachers that were working. I'd rather tell other students that they should go because A, you get help on your math homework from like actual math teachers instead of like photo math who could sometimes be wrong. And also like it's also good to just make sure you like understand what you're doing because then you'll ultimately just do better overall. If you've never attended Math Lab, check out the new schedule and try to make it in to get some extra help. If you're struggling with math, don't hesitate to go to the math lab. Now for the rest of your announcements. Make sure to subscribe to SVTV's YouTube channel. We can start live streaming events once we hit 1,000. Follow the SHS Minute Bell account on Twitter for information about the songs we hear every day, occasional prize giveaways, and to play, place music requests. The FBLA American Enterprise question of the day is, what president started American Enterprise Day? Submit your guess at tinyurl.com slash SeamanFBLA. That's all for the announcements. Stay tuned for sports after this commercial break. When riding the bus, make sure to do the following. Stay seated and follow rules and procedures. <laughs> Always report bullying. Pick up trash. Use indoor voices. Respect your peers. Have a nice day. You have a great day. Be a Viking. Respect the bus. Seaman strong. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? 
your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Come out and support your SHS cheer team as they head off to state on Saturday. They perform at the Expo Center starting at 4.30. Congratulations to Hunter Hesseltine. Today at 1.15, he will sign a letter of intent to play baseball at Barton County. Speaking of baseball signings, next Monday at 1.15, Blaine Jepson will also sign a letter of intent to play baseball at Washburn University. If you see Blaine or Hunter, make sure you congratulate them. Tryouts for the SHS bowling team begin December 9th at Westridge Lanes. If you are interested and have not turned in your information sheet, please see Coach Anderson in the front office. There will be a girls soccer informational meeting today after school. Emery talked to Coach Dietrich to learn more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Miss Dietrich and she's going to talk to us about the girls me soccer meeting tonight. So what's it about? Um, it's just going to be a quick informational meeting um, about our preseason coming up and kind of my expectations for the spring season and I wanted to introduce myself because I am the new soccer coach and um, it'll be about five minutes and it's in W8 which is my classroom and so if if you ride the bus you should be able to catch the bus in time for that. So. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Nope, that's about it. Just come quickly and we'll have a quick meeting and that's about it. All right, thanks, Mrs. Diedrich. Yep. Now back to your anchors. For more information, make sure you see Coach Diedrich. Now, let's head over to weatherman Josh Duncan to see what's going on outside. Happy TGIF, we had rain on Wednesday and Thursday, that totaled just over a third of an inch. And if you've been like, wow, I don't even remember how to turn on my windshield wipers, that's because this was the first measurable rainfall so far this month. And you know what it is? We're getting toward the end of November with Thanksgiving next week. That just shows a sign of how dry it has been. What a fascinating weather pattern we've had over the past month or so. Now, today we do introduce a chance for some snowflakes. There is a lot of dry air in the low levels of the atmosphere, but I do think a few flurries could make it down to the ground right around the time school is getting out. So again, some light snow and flurries possible today. We're not expecting anything more than a dusting of accumulation, if that, and that would only be on grassy and elevated surfaces for your Friday. Now the big story again is those temperatures after school temperatures in the mid and upper 30s. It'll feel a little bit colder than that and then by tomorrow morning we will bottom out in the upper 20s with a low around 28 or 29 degrees. The weekend luckily features warmer temperatures Saturday mid 40s mostly sunny skies. Clouds begin to increase Saturday night with a low just below freezing and then Sunday nearing 60 degrees with much warmer conditions arriving for the second half of the weekend. Now some big changes are ahead as we head into next week. This is a look at Tuesday. We're tracking a storm system that could bring rain or snow to Northeast Kansas or a combination of both. That mixture is possible Tuesday morning into the evening hours. We're still uncertain in terms of the amounts, but hopefully we'll have more details for you on that as we get a little bit closer. Now, Wednesday is the busiest travel day of the year in the United States, and here's the overall weather pattern. We're gonna have one storm system in the Northwest. The storm system that impacts us on Tuesday will be in the Northeast, and the middle part of the country right now is looking dry. So if you have travel plans for Wednesday, this is the way it looks right now. I'll update that for you as we get closer as well. Seven day forecast shows, a few flurries for today, warmer weather this weekend, and then we track those storm systems coming in Tuesday. Another one on Thanksgiving itself, but that one should be warm enough to support just a few rain showers. As you know, we have been having students take BuzzFeed quizzes lately. This week, we found out which Bikini Bottom character they're most like. So we're going to be trying to figure out what character in Spongebob I am. I look at myself as more of a Patrick, you know, loving big guy, not too much brains, but let's just see how this turns out. Uh, I'm going to try to pick my favorite shape here. 
Um, well, they don't have my favorite one, which is a pyramid, because it's it's the strongest um, mathematically shape. Uh, but it looks like they got triangle. That's you know resembles it a little bit. I think of myself um, as Gary because I like to meow a lot. Yeah. So pick your favorite shape. Huh. There's a lot of shapes here, but I'm gonna have to go with uh, probably square. Uh, pick your favorite competitive activity. Ultimate frisbee. I've um, never really done that. Basketball. I'm not very good at that. I used to be uh, hunting. I've never really hunted in my life. Uh, singing. I'm not a really good singer. Racing and dance. Honestly, none of these really describe me, but mm, I'm gonna have to go with basketball because that's what I used to do. Uh, favorite food: burgers, fries, salad, sushi. Steak. Steak tastes great, but uh, I've gotta stay healthy. Pick that salad. Uh, favorite Phineas and Ferb character: Candace, great neck. Uh, but uh, Perry, he was a G. But uh, I'm gonna have to go with Dr. Doofenshmirtz because I always felt bad. I felt empathetic that he didn't, he couldn't, he never succeeded in his past was sad. So we're gonna give him a win for once. Hit that self-destruct button. Pick your favorite food. Burgers, fries, salad, sushi, mashed potatoes, steak. Well, when I'm not in wrestling season, you know, I like to have myself some burgers, you yeah. know. Uh, favorite Fairly Odd Parents character, um, Drake Bell played Timmy Turner in the live action film. That was fun. I, I always loved Drake Bell, but uh, Poof is a flying fat baby that uh, does what he wants, and I kind of resemble that a little bit, so I'm going to go with that. Pick your favorite continent. North America, Europe, South America, Asia, Australia, Africa. Definitely Europe, because... I like exploring, and they have some pretty cool places to explore. Pick your favorite social media platform. Um, Facebook's great, you know, I love seeing my mom's rants, but Vine's also great because it was just a better time back then. Pick your favorite movie. The Lego Movie, Daddy's Home, Spider-Man, The Secret Life of Pets, The Wolf of Wall Street, Bohemian Rhapsody. Gonna have to go with The Secret Life of Pets or Got Mr. Krabs. Didn't think I was gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, don't. I don't trust the squiz. Favorite movie? Lego Movie Dice on Um, I'm gonna have to go Spider Man. Oh, Patrick. Uh, there's kind of a funny story about Spider Man. I uh, I loved Spider Man so much growing up that I used to. When adults would ask me how old I was and like what my name was, I would always be like, well, I'm like four and my name's Peter Parker. So, yeah. But uh, I'm Patrick Starr, so that's cool. I knew I was going to be that, and that's me. Make sure to keep an eye out for another BuzzFeed quiz soon. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great weekend.